You are the only father I've ever had. Toby. Eivor, it's Sven. He... He passed while I was away. Toby, I'm sorry I wasn't there. No one was. We had planned to brand Tekla's barrels that morning, and we talked about what we might have for supper. And when I went to collect him, he was in his bed, sleeping, I thought. But he was already gone. I'm sure he went in peace. But he went with plans. Things he wanted to do, things he meant to do. His death was so empty, not like in our stories. What stories do you mean? When we tell stories, the old and wise, they have this calm about them. They know when their end has come and they are ready. Sven wasn't ready. And I wasn't ready either. He was supposed to teach me things. I'm still learning. Everyone looks at me like I will simply carry on his work. As if nothing happened. Because they don't know. They don't know I'm not ready. Life may ask more of us than we are prepared to give. But all we can do is our best. Hmm. I was not prepared to lose my parents. But in a flash, they were taken from me. I pressed on, determined to live. That must have been punishing. But you are so strong, and so determined. Someone else might have done better than me. Or worse. But this was the fate woven for me, so I live it. I know Sven believed in you, in your craft. So do you believe in him? Do you trust him? He was the most skilled artist I have ever known. And he chose you. You may step up or step down, whatever you decide. But know that he had faith in you. Thank you, Eivor. I need to get home. Be strong, Toby. And know you are valued. When I close my eyes, Sven, I see your designs on the arms of the gods.